we're starting a denture, digital denture workflow. And in this case, the patient, we have a trial denture for the patient. This could be the patient's existing denture and it would be the same steps. If the patient doesn't have a denture and has no teeth, then you would have an extra step. You'd have to scan the tissues first and get some type of uh, tray with like a custom tray with um, either wax or acrylic on it. So you would have to have your trial tray beforehand. And so you'd need the first appointment with that. Getting to this point that the patient has a, an existing denture or you have a trial denture, then you could do the denture delivery in two steps. You'd have your initial records and then it would be delivery or try in if you wanted on the second visit. Um, so we have a trial denture and then I'm gonna show you the workflow. There's a few things that have to be added into the program. So I'm gonna trick the software in a few steps so that it does what we want it to do. Um, so we're gonna start, I'm gonna start first with the steps how we would want it to be. So if we were doing this and the, the software was already developed, I'm gonna show you what we would be doing and I'm gonna show you how we're gonna trick it. So the first step would be to scan um, the patient's mouth, the edentulous area and the opposing side. In her case, she has an existing partial. So we're gonna scan that as a mandible with the partial in place. Okay, so the first step would be I'm gonna scan the tissues. So the ideal workflow would be, I'm gonna select edentulous, I'm gonna select the edentulous scan, and then I'm gonna would scan the patient's mouth. And the, this scanner is amazing for capturing soft tissue, you will see. So I always start with the mid palatal region, then I go into the posterior region and scan the tuberosities. And then I'm going to scan the vestibules and scan the anterior now. Okay, so that is the first step. The biggest problem with digital dentures, if you're doing an intraoral scan, is that there's no way for you to border mold the denture. And with the movable tissue, sometimes there's many reasons why we border mold. The main one is to get that proper extension and to know how much we can extend the dentures. So with digital, there's no way to do that. There is that movable vestibule and you can pull it out if you're pulling it with your hands and it's never gonna be the same as a regular border mold that you would do with wax or whichever is your material of preference. Now, if you do have a tray, you can border mold your tray and then you can take an impression and we can merge that impression with the digital impression. So the analog with the digital, you can your impression and merge those two information together. We can still do that with the software how it is, but the problem would be on the next step. So I'm gonna add a pre-op scan in this case so we have all the scans together. Okay, so now I'm gonna select the dentulous workflow and I'm gonna select these border areas that I want to remove. So these are all areas that the tissue have movement and I have no way to know where exactly they are and where they should be for the denture. I'm gonna leave the frenum there because I like that position. Okay, so I'm gonna cut that off. And I'm gonna stop this recording and we're gonna do the second step so for the second part of this procedure um, I like to add tray adhesive so prepare your trays beforehand and have a, I'm using PVS so I have a, the proper tray adhesive for that and this step is important so that your material doesn't peel away from your tray when you're scanning it stays put and it's more accurate that way okay and 
for that same reason I like to add it a little bit over the border onto the outside portion here of the denture. Again, I had already pre-established my borders, but you could border mold your tray at this point. And this would be similar to your traditional analog impression workflow. So whatever you prefer to do, you would do it on this step. Okay, so my tray is ready. I have, I use light body material. Again, use whatever material you're comfortable with. And I'm gonna take kind of like a wash impression. Because I'm using the PVS material, I'm gonna dry out the tissues. Okay, I'm gonna leave the gauze there so it stays dry. I'm gonna load the impression. You could have your assistant do this part for you. I don't you want a thin layer evenly distributed. So I'm gonna take the gauze out and place this in. And bite down, lead it. Relax your cheeks. Big smile. Open. Pucker your lips. There. Relax your cheeks. Relax. Pucker your lips down. Bite down again, hold tight. Okay, so we are, in my case, I'm border molding with this material. That I had already pre-established, I had already done the border molding and pre-established the border before, so I just want the light body material to capture that properly once again. We're gonna wait two minutes for that to set. We'll come back and continue the video. Okay, so the two minutes have passed. We're gonna remove the tray. Okay, check that we have a good impression. You can verify the section of your impression, making sure it fits well. I'm going to cut off some borders now. Okay, so I'm going to mark my posterior limit with an indelible marker. Say, ah, uh, test the suction so I know my impression is good. Okay, and I'm going to trim the posterior excess here on the deck. There's one area that I didn't really like too much on the borders here. You can, in my case, I added a little bit of wax that softens at mouth temperature easily. And I'm gonna try to capture this area a little bit better there. So we're gonna cool this up. Okay, so now that I have my PVS impression, I'm gonna merge this information like I said. Uh, you could skip the intraoral scan completely if you wanted and just scan the denture. Um, I like the merging of it. So I already erased it there. I'm gonna select now that I am on my impression scan. So the software is gonna reverse. I'm gonna scan now what I, these borders. So you gotta find a spot where the software is gonna recognize where you are. You're gonna be merging that information here together of what you want. Okay, so I just want until at least your occlusal surfaces. You can scan the old denture if you want, but this is all you need. So now we have our merge scanner. We're gonna scan the opposing arch. So she has the partial end. We're gonna scan that in place. You're gonna see how fast this thing scans metal without even having any trouble. Okay, so there's no powder. And even with all that reflections, the scanner had absolutely no trouble scanning the metal. And I didn't even select the shiny surface helper there that they have. It was just a regular scan. You see, I'm fungus on the way and a bunch of things. And it removes everything very easily all by itself. Now is where the problem is going to come in. Taking the bite with the scan as it is here will not work out. So what needed to happen, when we scanned the denture, we should have had a step to flip the impression, flip the normals, so that the teeth are not inside out. And you'll see, so there's another problem with the bite capture here. You have the pre-op and the final arch for selection. You select the skin that you want to take the bite, 
but for now LightStar is switching back automatically to the other one so I wouldn't be able to take this bike regardless so you see it switches back I cannot take it if I try to take the bike openly here let's put the denture in place obviously okay so we captured the bike obviously that's not gonna work because we can't stitch these together unfortunately right now there's no way to mount this unless we do the other steps I'm gonna finalize this and we're gonna do it how we're gonna trick the system to actually work for us so now I'm gonna show you and we're gonna I deleted our maxillary scans I'm gonna keep the mandible so I don't have to rescan it I'm gonna show you how to trick the system so it actually works so the first thing that we're gonna do is when we scan the tissues we're gonna scan intraorally but now I'm gonna tell them that I'm actually scanning an impression so when I'm scanning intraorally telling the system that I'm actually scanning the impression now open big okay so we're gonna cut off the pieces that we don't want so because the software thought that it was scanning an impression it doesn't do as good of a job of removing all the movable tissues like you do with the regular intraoral edentula scan I'm gonna have to erase a little bit more than I would like here but it was still work okay so I finished trimming my intraoral scan that I told the system that it was an impression scan once I'm done trimming that I'm gonna now tell them that I'm not scanning an impression but I'm actually going to do that but you'll see that it has the flip sides for me so now on the pre-op still I'm gonna scan my borders okay so now I'm gonna cut off the teeth again ideally I would be doing this backwards a lot harder to do it this way but for now is what we gotta do until we get the updates on the soft strip could do all this in exocad also but I just want it to do it here so have the somewhat right workflow Okay, so this is just my final scan. I want to make sure that I have just what I need from the maxilla. Can scan any areas. And again, now I don't have to say that I'm scanning an impression because I tricked the system in the beginning so we can finalize it here. We got to select the scanning chart, like that to us. Finalize it in the impression though. So we have pretty much all the information we need here. So now we can get a proper bite by stopping. I'm gonna scan the mandible again to see if that's what was causing trouble with the bite. So unsuccessful with the bite merging, but at least we can merge it in Exocad and that will work there. 